Hi everybody, this is Rita, Jimari Scrap Shack. Welcome, welcome. Just got to eating, eating my dinner and I just want to show you this um, little journal that I've been working on for a really sweet friend named Kathy. Um, her granddaughter works with me at, <laughs> at my school. Anyway, it's a quilted cover. This is a cross stitch I did many years ago and it used to be in a frame but it fell out and so I stitched it on here with some ticking behind it and the three signatures are sewed in. Someone asked um, how I price my journals and uh, this, is, this is how I do it. So I feel like $20 per signature as long as you've, you know, you've accrued some time into making them like you've copy stained your papers and you've um you know you've got at least 10 pages or 10 pieces of a paper in it and uh you took time to like do some edging and you know put some pockets on into it and you've did some stamping and sewing um so this one has three so that'd be um 10 20 I'm sorry, I meant $20 per signature. I said that wrong. $20, $40, $60 for three signatures. And then because of the quilted um, cover, I feel like that's another $20. So to me, um, and I've had no problems getting what the journals are worth. I don't sell all of them. I gift a lot of journals because, um, you know, um, I love to give. <laughs> But when people ask me to make something for them, I feel like they need to know all the thing, you know, if you're doing it to get paid for it, you should get paid for all the work you've put into it. So basically that's, that's just how I price them. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you're doing it for your friends or your family and you want to, um, not charge them, of course, that's your business. It's your time that you put into them. I work eight hours a day. <laughs> And I don't just make journals. So when I make your journals, I'm this is taking time away from my family. So if I'm making it for an individual, that's that's just how I price them out. Okay. So you know, m making your paper coffee stained takes me all day. <laughs> if I do a bundle of paper, it takes me all day. You know. So this is just a faith journal, and um, I shouldn't say just. It's a beautiful faith journal. It's um, very eclectic. It has some digitals of quilts, and um, I forget what this is called. These are from my friend Diane's shop. Uh, I forget. Oh, my old barn door, or something like that, is the name of her. <laughs> I'll try to link everything after uh, after I show it. But it's got very old music paper in it. Uh, I've used a lot of, you know, rubber stamps in here that I have, and I have did some sewing. Uh, on the strings, it's got some really pretty crystal butterfri butterflies. Um, yeah, I made some pockets. Uh, this is a uh, digital, I believe this is, um, might be a Tsunami Rose one. This is a digital, this is a digital, these are all, um, in shades of blue. Kathy loves blue. And I stamped a lot of faith things for her in here. And it's got some, you know, old pieces of ephemera in here for her to journal on. Just to make it look vintage, you know. Binder paper, um, ledger paper. This is a Tsunami Rose Digi about faith. And this is just some beautiful cardstock blue. And that I've rubber stamped on. Uh, a lot of these are from Tsunami Rose, I believe, and some pictures in here that I put of Jesus are from a little Catholic, uh, little tiny uh, prayer. Oh, I forget what they're called. Let's see if I have it over here. Uh, the Holy Rosary Illustrated, you know, it's like a, I, I don't know what they call that little booklet, but what I did was I printed them onto vellum so that I could use them in here. I wanted, she said she wanted pictures and that was the only way I, you know, would have pictures of the ones that, you know, that she, this is all stamping. Um, let's see, I already showed that. 
uh, <laughs> my corner flip <laughs> with several pages, kind of like the way my friend Laura does it from the Paper Soul. This is a beautiful angel stamp. It says, she decided to leap, and I got this from my sweet friend, um, God's Girly Girl, number one. Thank you, Lisa. I love that one. And anytime anybody ever asks for faith, I, I like to put the angels in them. Um, when I'm making my journals, I do pray over them. And I pray that whoever gets this journal will write in it and enjoy it and love it. <laughs> and, um, you know, not respect, not respect it. Well, yes, respect it. But I mean, just enjoy it. Like, I know... Kathy has bought one from me before, and her granddaughter tells me that she just loves it, and she wrote in it a lot. This is a writing board that I made for this book. It's just got some coffee-stained paper on one side, a really thick piece of, um, uh, you know, like a, a cereal box in between, and then some digital that I printed out. I, li I like this. I thought it was super cute. So it's just so she can put this right behind her pages every time she writes. So it's nice and flat and she don't have to worry about bumps or anything. Um, here's a doily, coffee stained doily with some uh, butterfly on each side. And I believe these are, I never say the name right. And I have it, I'm so bad. I have it all printed out, but then... I was cleaning off the desk and I think I, I threw it in the trash. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'll link it. I'll link it in case somebody you know, wants that. These are some seed packets that had the blue, uh, you know, lobelia, lobelia flowers on them. But they were blue and I knew she liked blue so I put a seed packet in here. And inside the packet it has a little, be strong, go with your heart and believe in miracles because anything can happen. And this paper had a little tear in it, so I just put some washi tape on the back, and it's blue. So it has pretty flowers on it. That's just in there for her to find. Another little place to journal, or she could put pictures in there, or hide something, you know. This is just some little buttons on a tag. A little bird, a little vintage bird. These are all, like, um, scrapbooking paper or something. This is just some book page pockets that I made uh, following a tutorial from Crafty Irina. Here's some of those beautiful blue flowers from Tsunami Rose. Daisy, I love all your digitals, girl. You know I do. <laughs> I use them all the time. Uh, these are some... I think this is one of Daisy's, too. I could be wrong. I can't remember. That. Yeah, I think that's Daisy's. Um, this is all just ephemera. I have a bunch of stuff, you know, that I, I just... <clears throat> that I have everywhere, all over my desk, because I'm horrible. This is another one of Diane's digitals, um, My Old Barn Door. Um, you can find her digitals on Etsy. I love them. They're beautiful. Just some papers that I, you know, sewed on here to make a corner flip and a little pocket. This is just where I stamped Be Still and Know I'm With You. Uh, a little bit of stamping here, just a background stamp of some writing. And... Um, yeah, got a little piece of ticking right here for one of the tabs. And I think, did I put, yeah, there's another one right there. <clears throat> and then I think I put three. Here's a, here's a ticking pocket that I sewed around. And another tag. I think this was from a magazine. I just stamped from the heart. And I put a little old um, typewriter on here. And it's got some book page on some vintage music to that page because when I sewed on this side I didn't like the way the thread was showing so I just put I glued this piece of vintage music paper down because she could always write on that and yeah some cardstock this is just some scrapbooking cardstock another one of the digitals here some more of that blue paper so if as you can tell, I did the first signature in blue paper. The second one was in this because I just love this. I thought it was real pretty. And then the third one is blue again with more pictures and more pockets and more bookmarks and book page and stamping. And <laughs> yeah, I left lots of room for Kathy. She's definitely going to uh, journal in this one, you know, and um, I, I'm so excited for her. I hope she loves it. I, um, you know, I could put, do more stamps in here, but I didn't because I know she's going to write in it. This little heart charm, I, I put 
the crucifix in there and then I put some of the uh, what's it called some of this glossy accents in it so it's kind of hard to tell but she'll know there's Jesus on the cross in there when she sees it you know you gotta look really close but and then I put a little cross in here and on the middle one I had put the bells I, I always put brass bells they just sound so pretty you know so there's two brass bells and on the first one it was the little butterflies the blue and gold crystal butterflies another little pocket and then just a little piece of ephemera just to show that it's a pocket has some birds on it another one of the corner flips this one says anchored in the Lord and lots of places to journal in here you know more of that um, digital from Diane's shop my old barn door and some more tsunami rose ephemera card um, little faith cards to write on pocket to keep things um, the last page here I, I put a pocket here it says this book belongs to and Kathy can put her whole name there I just know her first name <laughs> and I put a magnet behind this washi so it snaps shut she could put things in there right now I have a letter for her in here with some extra um, extra little tabs if she wants to use them to make more you know, like if she wants to put Bible verses or whatever she wants to put on the edges of the paper, she could put there. And then, um, you know, the little playing card with a little note. I said, Kathy, this journal was made with tender, loving care and many prayers and blessings just for you. Enjoy it. And I signed my name and dated it. I and mean, then right here, it's a little, just a little booklet where she might want to write down some notes or you know and I liked it because it had blue and it had the really cute little pink roses on it so I tucked that in there I sewed across the top and that's there this is for her and I hope she loves it I wasn't sure about the closure but I decided to put this vintage lace on here and she can just um you know she could tie it like this put a little bow just to keep it shut like that thanks for watching guys um hope you like it <laughs> I, I hope Kathy loves it. This was a piece of, of quilt that came from my friend Michelle. I forgot to mention that. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle always sends me lovely happy mail. She's one of the besties. I, I tell you, she's amazing. She's such a sweet girl. Um, yeah, hope you love it, Kathy. Enjoy, my friend. Everybody have a good night. I'm going to make two more videos tonight because I have to show you a couple of things. <laughs> a couple more projects. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.